Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for subscribing to this channel, sharing it to get the information out about Philippe, and thank you for your trust during the hurricane season. Now, I want to get a closer look at this. I'm going to dive down into this because a wobble can make a big difference on flooding and mudslides. We're going to have that potential. I want to show you how the wind shear could be helping us out. I want to zoom down, show you the rain on the way, the wind on the way, take you in very close, get into the rain totals, the models, and just simply the the timing of, of all of this with Tropical Storm Philippe. Let me show it to you here. Again, a zoom down look. Look how we are right on the edge of it for a lot of us. Now, overnight, we've had some showers and storms around. I've been watching that overnight. St. Lucia and Barbados uh, this morning. We've been on the edge of rain. Here's the big blob of rain. You see that white shading there? That means taller cloud tops, which means there's a lot of moisture in this. In the, my biggest concern today will be any little wobble into our direction means the rain chance shoots way up. I already have a high chance chance of rain, mudslide potential, but it would be way up. So that's what I'll be watching throughout the day. This is this is so close and just a few kilometers will make a huge difference. Now, this map a little bit crazy, but let me show you what's going on. Here is the system right here. Here's the Caribbean. You have Florida here, Cuba, uh, Jamaica. You get over toward Belize just to orient you. Now, where this system is, you see this red shading here? That is a lot of wind shear. So those are winds coming in the opposite direction, knocking off the thunderstorm tops, which is a good thing. And that's been keeping most of the action, just not all of it, obviously, but most just just off toward the east as of now. But again, the wobbles are going to be a big issue to watch to see how much rain we get. So everything on track, we have some watches, warnings will be issued throughout the day. You may already have that in some spots. Anguilla down through Guadalupe, but also Dominica watching St. Lucia, Barbados for that heavier rain, watching over toward Martinique. So again, this is a big system that is going to kind of work its way a little bit closer as we go throughout today, tonight, and again tomorrow. So let me show you this, and then I'll zoom down even closer. Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico right here. Core of the rain is here, but let me take you into this evening. This is by the time we get into 10 o'clock tonight. Conditions will start to go downhill. We're talking about tropical storm conditions. I am highly concerned, though, with some of the rivers, river crossings. If you're on an island with a higher terrain, a volcanic uh, type of a situation, we'll be dealing with, again, that runoff, and that could lead to some mudslides. This is tomorrow morning. The rain will pick up, especially St. Lucia North, watching that in Guadalupe, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua, and Barbuda. And then through the day tomorrow, some heavier rain and stretching up near uh, Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda. We're going to have heavy areas of rain with this. The center just offshore, I talked about the wind shear. So it is a lopsided uh, system. The center will be here. Most of the action is to the east, but we are still going to get some rain in spots and it will be heavy. And then this is by Wednesday. As this lifts up to the north, you kind of get these feeder bands, some of the tail end of this kind of working in where we could still get some rain even late on Wednesday. And you see here, that's why I was mentioning the concern with the flooding. Uh, some of us could be dealing with some on and off rain for the next two to three days. Now, we get back here with a closer look. So British, U.S. Virgin Islands, Anguilla, St. Martin, uh, St. Bart's, Saba, Stacia, St. Kitts, Montserrat. You see here, this is by the time we get into tomorrow morning, heavy areas of rain. Now, it, we're right on the, uh, the edge of extremely heavy rain. So just watching this core, this could all shift a little bit more to the west, still a possibility, especially if some of the wind shear relaxes. But through the day tomorrow, watching in this area in particular, St. Lucia, North, Martinique, Dominica for that rain. And then by Wednesday morning, still in Guilla, St. Martin, uh, St. Bart's, Antigua, Barbuda, uh, Stacia, uh, over toward uh, Saba, St. Kitts and Nevis. We'll still be dealing with some of that rain Wednesday morning, and we may still have some later in the day on Wednesday. Now, as far as the winds are concerned, this is the center of it. And you see the white and pink shading here. Those are winds of 56 kilometers an hour to 80 kilometers an hour. I have miles per hour as well. That would be 35 to about 50. So as the winds are concerned, at times when you get some rain bands, we will have tropical storm gusts. We're not going to have sustained tropical storm conditions where it just lasts all the time. That's not the case, but we'll get some waves of uh, some rain. And with that, in that we'll have some gusts. This is by the time we get into tomorrow morning. Gusty, the arrows, I know they're a little small, but a southwesterly uh, flow, or uh, excuse me, south, yeah, southwesterly flow with some of the winds. And then as the center is to the north throughout the uh, day later tomorrow, winds turn a little bit more out of the south. They'll be gusty to breezy, even as we work our way into Wednesday, still getting some gusts around 
about 56 kilometers an hour or 35 miles per hour. Spotty power outages will be a possibility in the northeastern Caribbean with this, and I'll be watching out for some of the gusty winds again with some of those rain bands that move in. Now the models, as I was mentioning a few videos ago, everything was kind of shifting into our direction eventually it'll make a curve. Now, it looks like it's not curving right now. That's because of the wind shear. The wind shear, they say the center is right here, is drawing the showers and storms. It's a lopsided system more off to the east. And that's why even some of the rain has been getting into Barbados. I'll be watching that throughout the day. Uh, but eventually this will take that turn. And then it should be off to the east of Bermuda as we get down the road. I want to get into that in a moment. Let's get to some of the, uh, as far as the uh, rain totals are concerned, we get into this here. Look at this white shading. This is a three-day total. So we're talking about today, tomorrow, into Wednesday, right on the edge of the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. That's a harder call for me. I'm not quite sure how much rain we're going to get. It's going to depend on some of the wobbles, but we'll be on the edge of heavy rain. But you see this white shading or even this black shading in here? That's intense rain. Some of us are going to get that. That would be 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain to 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain. And once we get over 100 millimeters of rain or four inches, that's kind of my marker for anything above that, we start to get some problems with not only flooding, but the potential of mudslides, rock slides, landslides, uh, whatever you want to call it. Right in here, highest risk of heavy rain in Guilla, south through Dominica, but as I mentioned, Martinique, St. Lucia, even Barbados, we have been seeing some uh, healthy amounts of rain at times and some gusty winds. My friends in Trinidad and Tobago, the action's up to the north, but we've seen this kind of enhanced some storms. We had some gusty storms yesterday in last in last night and uh, this morning in uh, Trinidad and Tobago and spots. There's the heavy rain. Barbados, uh, St. Vincent to the north. That's where so you see St. Vincent and the Grenadines right through here. Here's Grenada. That's where some of the heaviest rain will be. Not as much Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad, the system's over here, but because it's there, it enhances that flow. And every now and then, we could get some of those gusty thunderstorms like we had yesterday. That is still a possibility today. I'll dive into that for our forecast in a moment. So the official track again, taking this up here, here's Bermuda. It should be to the east of Bermuda by the time we get into Friday and Saturday morning. I'll monitor that for any changes, of course. Now as it uh, lifts up, kind of gains some latitude here and lifts to the north, it should become a hurricane, but hopefully just off to the east of Bermuda by the time we get into the end of the week. I'll be watching that next. Now, as far as the sustained tropical storm force winds, this green to yellow shading here, about a 20 to 30 percent chance of sustained tropical storm conditions. So not super high. What I mean by that is we're not going to have an all day tropical storm on top of us, but it'll, there'll be breaks in the action where a couple hours we could get some heavier weather, <clears throat> excuse me, we could get some heavier weather and then we may catch a break and then we may get some more. But again, Northeastern Caribbean, that is the focus, the locations that have been trying to pinpoint for us. Now, as far as the wave action goes, those seas have been kicking up. I've been uh, watching your comments. Thank you for the reports around uh, Barbados. The seas have been uh, really kicking up. This in feet, anywhere from uh, nine feet just offshore for some of us. We're looking at building three to six meters as this lifts to the north and eventually strengthens. You see that red shading there. That could be upwards of about 20 feet, especially as this lifts a little bit closer to uh, uh, Bermuda. So again, uh, three to six meters as far as the wave heights are concerned. You see that really building. Here's Bermuda. Those waves, they will be cranking up, especially as the system gets stronger and a little bit more organized once it lifts up to the north. Bermuda, we just had that front move by. This is the same front that brought that incredible and intense uh, flooding back to uh, New York City. But there is the the big blob back behind it. Watching some other stuff behind it. By the way, it does look like eventually one more wave will try to develop off the coast of Africa. But as we go throughout October, we start to look closer to home. These fronts that dive in, that's where things could kind of spin up on the tail ends of the front. So Jamaica, Belize, uh, Mexico, I'll be watching uh, Cuba, the Bahamas, Florida, rest of the Southeast US, Texas, where we need to get some rain. It should get a little more active as we go throughout October. So Rena said and done with that has fallen apart. Philippe is the only name on the list right now. Sean, Tammy, Vince, and Whitney. If we get through this list, which is a pretty decent possibility at this point, there is a secondary list that we will go to for the uh, hurricane season. It used to be the Greek alphabet, but now there's a secondary list of names. So there it is right there. But elsewhere, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, even uh, Jamaica, we're going to see scattered storms. Very active pattern overall. Belize, we had some yesterday. Little area out here in the eastern Pacific may develop, should stay to the southwest. 
of the southwest coast of Mexico, watching the eastern Pacific. So in the short term, watching this, and by the way, the European model is very similar to the American model right now. So again, things have really lined up. I was mentioning that yesterday. Costa Rica, Panama, the next couple days, watching out for some flooding. Spotty in El Salvador, of course, I was highlighting this. All eyes on fleep, any wobble, that means more rain, and that would mean uh, a higher threat of mudslides. I always want you safe. That is why I do this channel. I'll be tracking that all day, but putting the word out there that mudslides, flooding, a potential right here, St. Lucia, Barbados, north through Antigua and Barbuda and Anguilla. But look at some of the storms firing up. Haiti and the Dominican Republic by tomorrow afternoon, not related to this, but we'll have some scattered storms. Could get a couple in Puerto Rico. I'll go over that with the forecast. In the Bahamas, we've had intense rain this morning in the Bahamas, especially northern Bahamas, still staying active with the tail ends of fronts moving in on Wednesday. More scattered showers and storms around. So Barbados, watching that flood threat today. Uh, this is a weather community, so leave your comments, your location, what you got going on with the weather so we could all get a handle on that. Barbados, the high chance of rain that's already been happening. Same thing in St. Lucia. We've been on the edge of it. Any little shift into our direction, watching the flood threat in St. Lucia. And Antigua in Barbuda. We're going to see that chance of rain picking up, especially as the system starts to lift to the north. Same thing, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat tonight. Tomorrow, we get the better chance of rain. Anguilla, it is going to be picking up tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on that uh, flood threat over towards St. Martin. St. Martin, Saba, and Stasia. Rain chance higher tonight and tomorrow. Watching out for the possibility of flooding. Uh, mudslides of potential, some slides of potential as we work our way into Guadalupe. If we get some heavier batches of rain tonight and tomorrow morning, could have a mudslide threat. Uh, Dominica, rain chance 70%. And then a 60% chance uh, tomorrow, dropping off to a 40% chance by Wednesday. High chance of rain as we get into uh, Martinique for today. We've been on the edge of that rain. Puerto Rico, scattered showers and storms picking up by midweek. We could see a couple isolated ones, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And as I mentioned, we are on the edge of this. If it, if it wobbles a little bit closer, that rain chance is going to shoot way up later tomorrow and Wednesday. Watching it for you in the Virgin Islands. Heaviest rain may be just to the east, but we'll see how close it does get. Trinity out in Tobago. If you do get a storm, it could be strong. We've been dealing with that. And if you don't get a storm, it is going to be super hot out there. It's been so hot if you've been uh, rain free. Scattered storms back through Jamaica over toward Falmouth, uh, Montego Bay, Cayman Islands. Rain chance about 40%, picking up midweek. 40% chance today in Grenada and a 40% chance the next couple days. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Again, the seas are overall going to be elevated. Scattered showers and storms in Belize. A 60% chance today in the Bahamas, northern central zones. We've had some flooding in spots of the Bahamas already last night and this morning. Morning, 30 to 40 percent chance the next few days by Cancun and the rest of the Yucatan and Mexico, Turks and Caicos. 30 to 40 per, or 30 to uh, 20 to 30 percent chance of showers and storms the next couple days. Scattered storms, some strong Haiti and the Dominican Republic. See that 60 percent chance the next two days. Scattered showers and storms in Cuba favoring the eastern end over the next couple of days. Passing shower possible midweek in Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, looking at about a 10 to 20% chance of rain and storms. Costa Rica, <clears throat> that elevated chance of rain and storms. We'll have about a 70% chance as we go throughout the day, holding on to about a 40% chance in Venezuela. We get back through Guyana, rain chance 10 to 20% chance, uh, 10 to 20% chance as well. In Suriname, Bermuda, we had a little bit of rain yesterday in spots, rain chance 20% the next couple days. So all eyes on fleep. Please, please be safe. Share this information. Rain, the big concern with this, again, if it just shifts a small distance, that makes a huge difference on how much rain you could get. Some spots, nothing. A couple of villages over could be getting hammered with some of that uh, intense river flooding. So tropical storm conditions in some locations. It'll be lifting to the north as we work our way into Wednesday. But still, then you get the tail action where some feeder bands will still be possible on Wednesday. Two more months to go in the hurricane season. October is usually very active. Not as much in November, although November last year was very active in the Caribbean. So we'll see how it goes. I will track it for you storm by storm. Please, please share this information. Please be safe. I'll go through your comments. Have a good rest of your day.